Happy New Year! I'm still in this Airbnb. I'm never gonna be able to go home, and I'm really sad. But that's fine because it is 23, and I've eaten a lot over this holiday season, and so it's time to get back to you know some good old vegan food. But I have a really good friend who actually just came back from Israel, and he asked me, "What do you want me to bring?" And I was like, "Okay, my two favorite things in the universe are dates, which I eat way too many of, and also zatar." And so he brought me back both. I ate all the dates in maybe 48 hours or less. But luckily, he gave me a really big bottle of zatar. So that is the inspiration for this meal today. It's cold outside, not really, but sort of cool. So I'm going to turn the oven on. I'm going to roast some carrots with some harissa, garlic, and zatar. Make some hummus. Make a little tahini sauce, and make an incredible, really healthy and delicious burrito. I am going to start working on the carrots first. So I preheated the oven to 450 degrees. I lined a sheet tray with parchment paper, and now I'm going to prep my carrots. All I'm going to do is just trim off the little top, and then cut these pieces in an oblique pattern. I basically want a three-inch piece of carrot because these are going to be wrapped in the、uh, the tortilla, and so I don't want them to be like super big, and I also want them to cook pretty evenly. I haven't really talked about this in a long time, but the, one of the reasons why I love this dish and love harissa roasted carrots is because this is like the embodiment of sweet heat. These carrots,、uh, I actually had some yesterday, and they are so incredibly sweet and delicious. And with this harissa, that's obviously going to give them like a really savory note. We're going to get really good caramelization、uh, because of the sweetness, but then we've got that intense heat from the harissa. One thing before I put it in, I want to taste it. A because I want to taste it, but also I want to see how salty it is, because that's going to help me inform how much salt I put in the carrots afterwards. It's so good. It's it's really really spicy, but it's actually going to kind of mellow out as it cooks. Obviously, there's three pounds of carrots in here, so I don't feel bad at all. This is half a cup of harissa. All right. Before I get my hands all dirty, I'm gonna put probably this pinch is probably a teaspoon and a half of salt. It's at six grams of salt in there, and then I've got a tablespoon of zatar and two gigantic grated garlics. Those are gonna go in. One more ingredient: a quarter cup of olive oil. The olive oil is going to give a really nice sort of vegetal flavor, but it's also going to coat the carrots and ensure that they get a really nice even browning. So these are going into a 450 degree oven for about 35, 45 minutes until they're tender and brown in spots. I love sesame seeds, sesame oil, and tahini. They are just such a great flavor. They complement so many dishes, not only in Mexican cuisine but Middle Eastern and Israeli, Lebanese cuisine. And so that's why I'm actually going to put it in two different places in this burrito.、Uh, the first place we're going to make an herby tahini cream, and so it's basically a slightly thinner sauce that is going to be like full of cilantro and scallion, but it's going to be pourable. In addition to the hummus, which will also have some tahini in it as well. The first thing we're going to do with this part of the recipe is I'm going to cut up、um, some cilantro. I don't need to go crazy because we're putting this in the food processor, and I'm also going to use the stems. There's a lot of flavor in the stems, and because we're going to pulse it all up,、um, you could actually even use all stems if you wanted to, because you're not going to really know. It's a little bit more fibrous. I'm going to save the leafy green parts for the actual burrito. They're going to act kind of like a a little bit of a lettuce herby situation.、So、that goes into the food processor. And then I've got some really beautiful scallions, and 
Just gonna give these a little rough chop. I want an equal amount of these to the cilantro. Okay, that is más o menos. Okay, and now we are just going to pulse these up. I wanna give these a head start. That way they'll get chopped up and then once I add the tahini, then we'll actually make a, a really nice smooth paste. I think I need a little bit more heat. Luckily, I happen to have a chili serrano in the refrigerator. So this is bonus. If you don't like spicy food, obviously don't use this. But since we are making a little bit of a green cream, might as well just throw it in. Mm, that's better. I mean, it is a burrito after all. Okay. Now, I'm gonna scrape this down. When I start the food processor, it's going to look like it's broken. It's gonna clump up, it's gonna be really scary looking. Don't fret, that's exactly what it needs to look like. And then we're gonna add the water. It's gonna look even weirder. And then after about 30 to 60 seconds of blending, it's going to come together and be really, really smooth and creamy and also start to lighten up. You can see it's nice and pourable now. This is gonna make a great condiment for the burritos. It's really, really good. Okay, um, this is perfectly seasoned and I'm feeling very happy about that. And now we will make the hummus. I just rinsed out the food processor. No reason to go crazy because there's gonna be tahini in the hummus as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up some lemons and juice them. So same thing as before, we are going to start with the tahini. So I'm adding this to the food processor, two thirds of a cup. Oh, so delicious. And then I am using the chickpea liquid. This is two thirds of a cup. We're gonna add that in. And then I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of cumin, just to give it a little bit of added flavor. All right, woof, wow, that's super creamy. Come look, Sebas. All right, and now we're going to add a teaspoon of sea salt, four grams, our can of chickpeas, and lemon juice and one clove of grated garlic. And back with the food processor lid. And here we go. All right, let's see how we look. Ooh, that looks really good. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and we'll let it go again. Just gonna make sure I get all the tahini out from the corners and the top edge. All right. Oof. Moment of truth. Wow. Mm. Ooh. It's super lemony. And I did that on purpose because there are a lot of other flavors in this and I want this to provide a lot of the acid. If I was gonna make this as a standalone hummus, I would pull back a little bit on the lemon juice, but it's really, really good. Super delicious. Okay, this is done, and I think it's time to go check on the carrots. Okay, 
we're gonna make a little bit of a salad. And so one of the things that I normally do when I make salads, if I'm not going to serve it immediately, I will make the dressing, put it on the bottom of the salad bowl, and then layer all the vegetables on top. Then I can cover it either with a little bit of plastic wrap, a damp kitchen towel, or damp paper towels. That'll keep everything really crisp and fresh. And then right when I'm about to serve, then I will toss it with the salad dressing on the bottom. So we are going to make the dressing super simple. It is one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. I've got this giant clove of garlic. I think I'm only gonna grate about a third of it because I don't want people to only taste garlic. And then a tablespoon of zatar. And then olive oil. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. I may actually add a little bit more at the end. Okay, so probably the sturdiest vegetable I have here is the cucumber. So I'm gonna do this first, that way the cucumber lays on top of the dressing. And I'm going to quarter this lengthwise. And then I'm just gonna cut these into maybe quarter inch slices. All right, for the scallions, we'll do a couple of tablespoons. I'm just gonna use the green Now for my next trick, the tomatoes. When I worked in restaurants, I used to have to split about a billion Sun Gold tomatoes and roast them. And <laughs> when I first started working, I was literally doing like a couple at a time. And this kid came up to me, literally like 18 years old, and was like, no, 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 here, let me show you how to do it. So he took two deli container lids and Basically, you line these up on the bottom of one, and then you take the other lid, put it on top, take a very sharp knife, and then just cut. And then you have beautifully sliced, halved cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to attempt to make a burrito small enough that I can actually fold it because you know how normally my tacos are, Josh. Oh, There's so many bright flavors. It's sweet, and it's salty, and it's lemony, it's herby, it's spicy. It's so good. I'm actually really excited to see Sebas taste this because he mentioned earlier that he was not a big fan of vegetarian and vegan things until we met. And you know, every so often I gotta like change things up, make some vegetables and convince him that they are incredibly delicious. And there honestly is really no reason to eat meat except obviously pork and lard because I need that in my life or else I would probably die. But this is not going to disappoint you, especially when you make it that big, you are going to be incredibly full and incredibly happy. So happy new year. And as always, if you like this recipe, if you like me, and if you wanna see more Sweet Eat, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as I make another really delicious vegetable, pig, or sweet thing. And that's a wrap, <laughs> literally. <laughs>